Hello and welcome to a tutorial using Excel to muck about with the um, mark books that we share online uh, which some of you have asked to have some training on. Uh, first of all, um, thank you very much to Mr. Everard for providing this um, and Ms. Dr. Harper for providing this that they've done for um, Lower Fort Orchard. Um, I've deleted the student names because this will be public on YouTube. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is how to um, do some interesting things here. So I'm just going to go and type these and then um, you can use the sort of fill down tool if you've never used it before. So you start creating a sequence of things in Excel, it could be numbers, dates, days of the week, whatever. And as you click that little um, black handle uh, in the corner, you can see that it um, fills it in. Very nice, thank you very much. Um, so um, I'll just show you that again. Um, got a, a copy of it over here. So I'll just do a different thing, student one, student two um, and then highlight them both together go to put your mouse over the little black box in the corner and zoom down and there we go okay so um, there are a few things that I would do to this spreadsheet on seeing it like this just to sort of tidy it up and make it a bit different first of all I would try and minimize wasted space so I would hover over the um, line between these two columns here you can see the, um, the cursor changes double click and it shrinks it to best fit which is very nice uh, the next thing I would do is freeze panes so I would go and you've got um, so you'd be on home but if you go to the view ribbon um, you've got this freeze panes option here um, and you can freeze the top row and that means that when I go scroll up and down it does all of that um, and then I can freeze the first column too um, and so now it will if I go side to side pupils names will stay there so I know whose is what um, and what is whose uh, that's all good 